I'm gonna go to a donut place called Duck Donuts. I was gonna go to their location in Houston yesterday, but they've um, closed down, but they've still got one here. So um, yeah, let's go and eat donuts. Duck Donuts make their um, donuts to order. So it's a good thing down here. It's one in Houston the other day that did the same thing. So they they make the one type of donuts and then they, they make them fresh and then they decorate them as requested. So I've got the maple bacon. Very hot. I'm in Lockhart, Texas, and I'm just going to go to Black's Barbecue here. They claim to be the oldest barbecue place in Texas, um, and they're also one of the best, I believe. Um, Lockhart, as I said yesterday, um, Lowen, just down the road, is in um, competition with them all the time, so yeah, let's see how they go. That is so tender. Beef rib, really good. Just good average. The other one is better. Just to the south east of uh, Austin, a place called the Badol Pecan Company, and uh, they have a pecan pie vending machine. So, if you're uh, out in the middle of the night and you feel like you want an entire pie, you can get one right here in this vending machine. Now, I'm not going to get one from the vending machine because they only sell pies um, as whole pies, and I really don't have room for a whole pie, but uh, this is pretty awesome. It's one of those. Uh, roadside attractions that um, you wouldn't find anywhere else. The mascot for Badol's Pecans is this uh, lovely squirrel here called Ms. Pearl. And uh, I can tell you some fun facts about Ms. Pearl. 14 foot tall, she's the tallest squirrel statue in the world. Uh, 30 to 100 
pictures taken of her a day. She loves the pies they make here, of course, and they make over 11,170 pies every year. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Some facts about Miss Pearl, the giant squirrel. That was very tasty. Um, in terms of cinnamon donut, they were big, crispy, soft inside, um, and very nice. But yeah, I didn't care for the sauce much. It was just honey and butter, and it was a bit too much. There's enough richness in the donut itself. But anyway, very cool. Yeah, so it's a little um, pods of um, food trucks in Austin. Austin's a very cool city. It's um, lots of hipsters and coffee places because it's the state capital and has all the universities and things here it tends to be a little more progressive than some of the other conservative parts of Texas but in the big cities um, like San Antonio and here um, and even Houston to some degree they don't have particularly strong accents whereas you head out of the cities and they've got that um, much stronger southern drawl um, that you'd expect in Texas apparently in Dallas they have that too so Austin is also the sister city to Adelaide so to come here for that reason as well. It has a lot of similarities to Adelaide. I've been uh, using scooters a bit here. I've got a um, house not too far from the uh, downtown area. I have a scooter around the corner, so it's a good way of really seeing um, the city and not having to worry about parking and things like that. It's good fun as well. waiting for the bridge behind me here every night at the sunset a whole bunch of bats thousands and thousands of them fly out from under the bridge it's pretty um that pretty thing that Austin is fairly famous for as you can see by the people on the bridge and all the people waiting here and then there's people on the other side there it's a pretty popular thing for people to do when they're in Austin so you're yeah, waiting to see some bats I'm not sure whether you guys see them on the video but um I'll try and film it. 